In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your academic-oriented CV into a business-ready resume in less than 10 minutes. Let's get started. In order to create a resume quickly from your academic CV, you're going to need a couple things. First off is you're going to need an example job posting of the kind of job you're going to be applying for in industry. Secondly, you're going to need an example resume that matches that job description. And you can either get that just by Googling around, or you can do informational interviews with folks that you find on LinkedIn and ask them if you can have their resume. So assuming you have those two things, you're also going to need your academic CV. There's a couple things to do to your CV that's going to make this a little bit easier. Here's what I recommend. Eliminate things that are just not going to appear on your resume. That includes things like online profiles to your research gate, maybe different memberships you have to professional organizations, conference posters, professional service, things like that. Now we're going to hop over to chat GPT. One thing I want to say before we get started is ChatGPT is a generative software. It creates text that answers questions. And in order to get the best responses, you really have to spoon feed it as much as you can. And you need to double check the answers it gives you because sometimes it just makes things up. So what I have here to feed into ChatGPT, I have a Word document open that includes a couple sections. Number one, I found an example resume on the internet of someone who has a job in user experience research, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So I copy and pasted that text. Number two, I have an example job ad that I got from LinkedIn for a user experience researcher role. So I copy and pasted that in as well. And then number three, I have my CV in this Word document, and I tailored it just like I told you at the beginning. And then at the very end, I have my prompt for ChatGPT. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste all this information into ChatGPT. So for my prompt, I simply say at the very end of this, create a resume for me. Use number one, the example resume that I have as a template. Use number two, the example job ad to create a resume that details my work experiences and education as reported in three, my CV. Again, you need to be really specific with ChatGPT. Then I add a bunch of things that just through trial and error, it seems like you really need to specify in order to get a good example resume out. So I have add a profile section that summarizes my professional experiences in one to two sentences, include the past three roles, add a skills section, include specific data tools, add a research impact section, remove my dissertation and thesis titles, unless it's directly relevant to the kind of job you're applying for. And then I put ignore my teaching experience. And of course, if you're applying to a role where teaching is important, then of course you can include it. And if you want a copy of this prompt word for word, you can download it at the link in the description below. So we're going to copy all of that information into ChatGPT and run it. Okay, so ChatGPT is done running, so let's take a second and look at what we have. At the top, we have name, website, email, then you have a profile. It looks like two to three sentences summarizing what I've done. And then I have three positions under my professional experience, each with a couple bullets that highlights things that I've done. I do have a skills section, and this is where I want to point out some of the limitations of ChatGPT. Under statistical tools, it lists JASP. Now, I have never used JASP before. And when I search the document where I've listed out all the materials I'm inputting in a chat GPT, I can see that it was listed in the example resume. Make sure you double check what chat GPT gives you because it will often just add things that aren't there. So I need to remove JASP, but everything else actually looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this information into a new Word document. I'm going to delete some of this extra information that I added at the end, and I'm going to save this. We'll save as chat GPT resume, and then we're going to go make this into a full-fledged resume. So you're going to want to head over to resume.io and click create a resume. You will have to create a profile if you don't have one already. Then it's going to prompt you to upload your resume, and we're going to select what ChatGPT has created for us. 
Next, you're going to want to review some of the information, like the desired job title. We're going to put UX researcher in the professional summary. We're going to take out the profile title. Obviously, we would want to remove these asterisks. I'm going to remove this from the skills section. One thing you can do to get some feedback on your resume is to copy and paste the job posting that you're targeting. So I'll go ahead and do that. It takes a couple seconds to analyze that job posting. Go ahead and click Start Improving, and it'll give you some prompts on how to improve your resume. One thing it recommends is to have less than 200 characters in your professional summary. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this middle sentence. For some reason, it's missing my most recent academic position, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in manually here. Then I'm going to reorganize this a bit because it's not in chronological order. Let's go ahead and preview it again. All right, so I took some time to clean this up a little bit, and I want to give you just a look at the final version. So this is pretty close to what an industry resume should be looking like. We've got a very tight title here. You've got an employment history that's not too extensive, but has enough positions in it to show that you've been doing good work, and then it has bullets for each position to show the impact you had in that role. It has an education here at the bottom. Here on the skills, you could get a little more nuanced depending on the role you're applying to. And I do recommend having separate sections for skills and tools. Tools is where you clarify the exact packages or programs that you're using in order to do the skill that you talk about in the skills section. So from here, you could download the PDF, although it is behind a paywall, so you'd need to throw resume.io some money in order to get it, or you can download the text for free and then copy and paste it into a resume template from Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Although I do recommend that you consider buying one of the professional resume templates from a site like Etsy because Recruiters see hundreds of resumes, often for one job posting, and anything you can do to make your resume visually stand out just a little bit can help the recruiter to decide to give your resume a second look. Ultimately, I think ChatGPT is a great tool for creating a first rough draft of nearly any text-based document. However, it has a lot of limitations. It really struggles to think for you, especially if that thinking requires knowledge outside of the context you provide to it. I think ChatGPT is useful if you feel stuck when it comes to creating a first resume for industry, but ultimately you will have to give it a lot of feedback and heavily edit and enhance the final text it gives you before I think it would ever be ready for a job application. However, I do think ChatGPT has other uses in your job search, like using your CV or resume plus a job posting to write the about section of your LinkedIn profile, or create cover letters and even drafting messages and emails to recruiters to send when you apply to their jobs.